I was doing a job for the National Endowment of the Arts. Uh, they asked me if I would travel around to some of the theaters that they were supporting and write a report on what uh, I saw and what my feeling was about the standard of the productions and so on and so forth. And I did that and I went to from place after place after place. And I, one of the places I went to was uh, St. Louis. Um, uh, and uh, I, I, John Jory was the artistic director of that theater. And he, w while I was there, he said, Hume, we have a, uh, I have a script which I'm going to do in a few months' time. We're going to do out here in our program. It'd be wonderful for you and Jesse. Uh, w would you read it? And I said, well, if you let me take it on the plane, I'll read it. Because uh, I just went one place to another to another to another. I took it out to Los Angeles and I read it. And um, I called, as I remember, from the airport, got a hold of the author. Um, um, and said, um, my name is Hume Cronin, and my marriage is Jessica Tandy, and uh, I'd like to option your play. We, 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 we put it into rehearsal rather quickly. I sent it, as I was going to be on the stage all the time, and I wanted another director, and the best director I thought for it would be Mike Nichols. <clears throat> and um, I thought I'll never get him, because you never get your first choices, or you very rarely do. But I sent it to him, and he got back to me almost immediately. He said, who owns this? And I said, I do. He said, let's do it together. I said, you're on. Let's do it together. And. Um, um, we co-produced it with the Schubert organization, and the rest is history. Well, you performed. We played eight hundred performances or something like that. We played it in New York. We played it across the country, country and back here. Played it in England, and we ended up in the Soviet Union playing it there. <laughs>